much, now I'm swallowed. The WNBA draft is typically a moment of excitement for players stepping into the league, but Caitlin Clark's experience was not as joyful as expected. Selected as the number one overall pick by the Indiana Fever, Clark found herself quickly whisked away after her name was announced, leaving little opportunity to celebrate with loved ones. As the top pick, her time at the draft venue was brief, and she was unable to share in the excitement with friends, family, and former teammates. Speaking on the Fresh Talk podcast, Clark shared her disappointment about the rushed nature of the event. After being called to the stage to shake hands with WNBA Commissioner Kathy Engelbert, she was immediately taken away from the draft area. I was so upset because after I got drafted, I got just drug out immediately, and I didn't get to see any of the draft. She recounted to her former Iowa Hawkeyes teammates Kate Martin, Gabby Marshall, and Jada Jayamfai. Without much access to her phone, Clark also missed the moment when her former teammate Kate Martin was drafted, something that added to her frustration. I couldn't even go on my phone, she added, emphasizing her regret over missing key moments and interactions. Clark, now 22, expressed disappointment at not being able to capture the memories she had hoped for with her family and friends. I didn't even take pictures with you guys, my family, like Connor McCaffrey, like no one, she lamented. Despite these disappointments, Clark didn't let the experience cloud her first season in the WNBA. Living up to her top pick status, she quickly became a valuable asset to the Fever, helping guide them to the playoffs for the first time since 2016. Clark's influence went beyond just performance on the court. Her presence created what Hall of Famer Debbie Antonelli described as an economic disruption in the league. Appearing on The C.L. Brown Show, Antonelli explained that Clark's arrival in the WNBA drew widespread attention and enthusiasm, sparking a renewed interest in women's basketball. No one's disrupted the economic marketplace and the ecosystem like she has, Antonelli remarked, underscoring Clark's role in attracting a broader audience to the league and revitalizing fan engagement. Antonelli also shared her observations of the feverish fan support Clark attracted during her rookie season, highlighting the diversity of those who showed up for the Fever star. I can just tell you by what I experienced this summer in the WNBA, watching how many number 22s were walking by. Little girls, dads, little boys, college-age guys, she said, noting how Clark's popularity is encouraging the sport's growth at a grassroots level. Antonelli believes that Clark's success and visibility are inspiring more young girls and women to see a future in basketball. Clark is now shifting her focus from the court to other interests, including her passion for golf. She is set to compete in the Annika Driven by Gamebridge Pro-Am Tournament, signaling her commitment to explore new avenues while keeping herself active and competitive.